Take away your sorrow In the old ways Get washed out by the rain Darling, you've got to keep Holding on through the night Cause I promise you Hello, happy people. Hope you guys are doing great. Man, it seems like I've been talking to you guys forever, but here we are. Beautiful day in Alaska. Uh, what, roughly 10 below zero or so? Um, I don't even know how to get you guys caught up. There's been so much that's been going on, but it just, it, it's good to talk. You haven't picked up a camera forever. It's so much easier when we're kind of showing, you know, our life and, and things that are happening as it pours out, but there's just, there's a lot that's happened. Um, of course, Christmas, full throttle events there. And then you have that whole lull between Christmas and New Year where you're just, <laughs> you're kind of like walking around bumping into walls, not knowing, uh, you know, do I just eat today or do I just take another nap or what do I do? Schedules are out the window, all these things, right? Is that kind of what you guys did? And then uh, we had uh, we had New Year's. Uh, we just had some family over, fireworks, fun, and then uh, there was a gingerbread building contest. Send you to that. Should old acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind? Should old acquaintance be forgot and days of old lang syne? For old lang syne, my dear, for old lang syne. Talk a cup of kindness yet for days of unsigned. <laughs> and here's a hand my trusty friend, and just a hand of thine. We'll talk a cup of kindness yet. New Year. Uh, the spring cleaning, I, I know is kind of a big thing for a lot of people. For my wife, it's the post-Christmas purge. Oh my. Uh, I think she's organizing the entire house, throwing stuff away left and right. I mean, the kids, the dog, the baby, me, we're all hiding in the corner because we're afraid we're going to be next because she's just, she's chucking stuff, trying to like organize things. Uh, daylight, maybe I'll touch base on this a little bit, guys. Daylight, I know like we're gaining daylight, but like we have four months of winter left. So that's kind of out there and that's, and, and to be honest, we really try to show a lot of the positive parts of Alaska. This is the time of year, January and February, where you just, just if I could be real, you just shouldn't live here. <laughs> it's fun to visit. You can see the Northern Lights and such, but uh, uh, it can be very draining to know that we have four months of winter left and we don't have a lot of daylight and, and you have to be careful. Like depression, a lot of these things can roll in. Like I said, we'll maybe touch base on that a little bit later, but hope you guys are doing great. For right now though, I'm gonna go start the truck up, bring Garrett, cause we have some man work we gotta do. We've gotta go over to my parents. There's a top of a tree that fell down that's blocking most of the driveway. So we'll see if we can, uh, if we can go get that cleared off. Again, hope you guys are doing great. Let's go, uh, let's bring Garrett. Go save the day at Grandma and Grandpa's and then roll out with the day. Do this. Yeah. Boom. Oh, what should we do? We gotta bring out the tower. Bring 
out the tower. Yay! That's Ooh. pretty big. Yeah, it but is. Those big okay, do you have a strap? What? Did you bring the strap? No. Carrot! Good thing I got one. So what do you think? Ah, I don't think we could, I think we could carry it if it wasn't stuck in the snow. Ah. Yeah, that's really stuck. Let's see. Uh, oh, nice. Got a lot of straps. Oh yeah, we got we got hooks, buddy. You got to open it up for me. How do you attach this to the truck on one end and to the tree on the other? It's still standing on it. I might be able to hook it onto this, maybe. Well, there's a secret hole, actually. I found it. Oh, good job. Found the hole. Got it. Okay. Now, how are we going to do that? Show you a trick. Let's go up a little farther here. Go we'll wrap around and then hook it on itself. Through here. Got it. Okay, pull it tight. Actually, let's do two loops. Here, can you pick that up? Let's just go around twice. Yeah, and then... Anything like that? Okay, you think that's good? Think so? Go and unhook the rope. Good job, bud. Way to go. Good muscles. Got All it. right, very good. Yeah. That's frigid. All right, crisis is averted. Good to go. I gotta head to town, get a few errands done, but let me go and send you back home, check on my wife, see how she's doing. Well, hello, happy peoples. Hope you guys are doing fantastic. Long time no talk. We still have Christmas up, guys. We still have the good old Christmas decor up. But I am on the purge clean mode. I'm under a deadline for it, of course, but I have been going and getting everything situated. Um, I have been wanting to do this for years and I just seemed like I never could get the time to focus on it. So I was like, after Christmas, after Vlogmas, I am going to really focus in on purging, like stuff that we just don't need. What I have noticed is that the less you have, the less you have to maintain. I have lots of little things, lots of little things, and I'm, I don't wanna have the little things anymore. So I'm working my way. I have done our master bedroom, our master bathroom, which includes our closet. I've done my laundry room, and I just kinda hit my office today. It's not 100% where I want it to be. I still have like files and stuff to go through, but it is, it is better than what it has been, because this was literally like, blown up. So my garage on the other hand does not look the greatest because that's where the staging area for everything is going. Anyway, how are you guys been? I hope wonderful. We have a trip coming up. Come here, Kastner. Come here, come show your beautiful groomed face. Yes. Yes, look at him. Look at the fluffy. Look at the fluffy puppy. Ah, so gorgeous. He just went and got groomed. He turned a year old, guys. Turned a year old. I did a little fun little Instagram reel for him. <laughs> it was precious. A year. January 5th was his little birthday. Anyway, myself, Evelyn, and Olivia, which I can say her name now. I haven't been able to do that very often. Um, we are all gonna go to Las Vegas because Evelyn has her first level five competition out of state meet. Holy guacamole. But the fun thing too is that my parents they live in Arizona. They are going to drive and meet us over there. <laughs> That's so sneaky and exciting. We're gonna go back to Arizona. We're gonna drive back from Las Vegas to Phoenix, go and hang out with them for, it's only like four days or so. We'll see. 
We'll see how it all transpires because then that next weekend, Evelyn has another meet. Three meets this month. Crazy, crazy schedule. That's kind of what we're gonna do. And it's gonna be, and then we're gonna fly like a direct Phoenix Anchorage. She's gonna compete, I, we'll see. We'll see if I'm able to manage it. Super excited about that. Not gonna lie, very anxious. Very anxious about that. I do not enjoy flying. I used to love it as a child. I used to do, it was like an adventure, like so much fun. Now, anxiety's like through the roof when I get on an airplane and I just don't know why I can't relinquish, let it go, it's okay. It's safer than driving in a car. That's what I keep telling myself. Is it sinking in? Not really, but I, I hope it's a good trip. I don't know. I'm very, I'm just very nervous. So if you think of me, pray for me as I go on this little, I'm trying to look at, like it should be so much fun. It should be so much fun. And I'm just like, ugh. I'm gonna miss my family here and I'm gonna be anxious for them here. And then taking care of little Kastner, making sure everything is getting done. You know what I mean? Mom, mom anxieties, is that it? I don't know. Where do you think you're going? Where do you think you're going? You stay with me. You stay with me. But yeah, we'll see if I get my Christmas decor done and down um, before I leave. I leave in two days. But yeah, I hope your guys' transition from the holidays, the New Year's, and you're getting back in the swing of things, I hope it's going wonderful. Um, if you're doing the purging thing like I am, I hope that it's not being too overwhelming. The thing that I've noticed is I'm just taking little bits here and there, and I'm just focusing on that one area, knock it out, and then I'm like, okay, do I wanna move? Okay, yeah, I'll go to the next one. And then I do it again. So when I get back home, because I don't think I'll have enough time with everything that I need to get, like, get packed, get things done before I leave, finish up Alaskan apparel stuff. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to manage it all, but like I still have my kitchen left. I've got all the kids rooms left. I wanna do my living room of getting some stuff that I just don't need anymore. The less you have, the less you have to manage. That's my mantra for my purging season. And it's just gonna go and that's okay. That is okay. I don't need it. I don't need to hold on to it. Just let it go. All right, guys, look at all these cards. So we had a few more that came in the mail. <laughs> these ones that we didn't get to get up in time before Christmas came and went. It's gotta be a record, right? So we right. put them out on our table and have been going through them, reading them, reading all your stories, all your amazing pictures. I even spotted some people wearing their Alaskan apparel in some of their pictures. How, what a huge compliment to get a piece on y'all's Christmas card. Uh, that's pretty stinking amazing. Through them all, but the time has come that we are gonna have to disassemble this. This is the last batch, right? This is the last batch. Which we didn't even have room to hang them up in here, so. Yeah, we probably could have made a few more rows. Yeah, are you gonna, are we gonna take this down before I leave? We might. Yeah? Maybe I'll take it down uh, when you're gone. When I'm gone. Yeah. Oh, sad. Did you tell them you're leaving? Yes, I did. Okay. They know. How are you doing? You stressed? You good? It's you fine. Happy? It's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's just grand. Your blessings. <laughs> Look at it all. Wow. We do have some baby, um, some baby cards in here mixed in too. Oh my goodness, guys. We have received so many like sweet gifts from you all 
um, homemade blankets, formula, uh, adorable outfits. There's an overwhelming amount of like. Well, and reading your nice, stories nice too. Oh, like yeah. a lot of your, st like uh, babies being born early in NICU and liver transplants and just like serious stuff. Yeah. Um, that apparently we've been able to be, you know, part of your lives, which is awesome. We brought them to be a part of, you know, a lot of the larger pieces of our lives. So it's just, I get goosebumps reading a lot of these, yeah. these cards. Well, it's neat amazing. too. It's neat to hear those and kind of connect, connect faces. I love being able to see faces. So like I told you guys earlier, I want to touch base on like this whole time of year and maybe did you tell kind of tell them like About like leaving, getting out of here well like well in your mind here this is you know because we want to be honest with people you know alaska is not always awesome no. especially right now so this is the like for time. you what what have you been struggling with the most this time of year in lack january of daylight man the lack of vitamin d just feeling the warmth of the sunshine on my skin. Yeah. Being able to just go outside. So is this, is this setting up more like uh, depression? Is it like taking some of your joy? Is it just you feel like the walls lack, are cold? Lack like, of motivation. Lack of motivation. Lack of motivation. I yep. sometimes just have to be like everything inside me to just go and like do something. Well, we went from crazy Christmas, right? Yep. To now. To fun New Year's. Fun New Year's. Which was great. But now it's kind of like. The cabin fevery, got to get out and do stuff. And you and just are kind of getting back into the monotonous of things, and it's just dark. We have more daylight, but it seems we, like there's less we, we for just, some reason. But more? Like, what did we gain since I Christmas? guess that's true. Maybe a half an hour? Yeah. Maybe. What are we, four and a half hours or something like yeah. that? Yeah, so it's not like a great amount, but you just, I don't know, you just start feeling that. You miss the sunshine. Right. You miss being able to just go outside. Vitamin D supplements. Yeah. Having a house that's well lit is yeah. super important. And just saying, you know, just, I try to, I haven't really been out much though. Hey, Cassie, he got new toys. Here. You like your toy? Here. Oh, baby's oh, awake. No. Okay, things are getting real. She just needs to get out. Oh, you having a rough time? See, she has a rough time this time of year too. He's horrid. Oh. oh. <laughs> Oh, oh no. we're so sad. Oh, no, sad. Oh, oh, we're no, so Jesse. sad. Did you actually have baby tears? Oh, no. It's okay. I don't know if you guys noticed that there's a, there is a young man at mom and dad's house for our uh, Thanksgiving, actually, and Christmas. Mm -hmm. And that's a military guy. Uh, his name's Noah. So something else this time of year up here that actually Mary would talk to me about is... A lot of the military guys, uh, especially the single ones, really struggle. Sometimes need a little bit of support uh, because there's not as much to do here in the wintertime, right? Like if you have a family or business and you know, you're really plugged into the community, but a lot of times in your military, you're not here for very long. So mm -hmm. uh, some of them can really struggle. And um, I know the mayor's talked about like having, you know, different community uh, like gatherings or things like that for, for holidays. But you know, inviting a military person to your home if you have room is, is usually a good thing. So a question for you guys, do you live in a state or a country where there's a certain time of year that you just wish you weren't there, like you just wanna go somewhere else? Uh, leave a comment down below, let us know, love to hear about it. I imagine like a hot climate, right? Or a cold climate or uh, like Arizona, probably in July is probably <laughs> not a real pleasant place to be, but it's unless you those... really like that heat though, some right. people really do, especially it, a little older. That's true. It's probably the extremes, the extreme areas. Yeah. Where you're just like, yeah, what's up? But you know what? No place is perfect. It's but true. really, you're going to have your ups and downs of it. All this is things. just ours. Yep. But we are on the trajectory to start gaining a lot more. We're going to start getting warmer temperatures. Mm -hmm. And summers are phenomenal. So we just, just got to get there. We got to get there. <laughs> We're holding out. It's fine. It's fine. It's good. Okay. You guys are awesome. We're going to wrap this one up. And this is the first vlog of the year. Can you believe it? I know. Wow. We're really behind. We're kind of behind. That's Sorry. Okay. We appreciate you though. You're amazing. <laughs> All right, with that, we will see you guys in the next video. All right, Bye. take it away, kids. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.